<laughs> hey everyone, Doug Stevens here from Retail Profit. You have questions and I have answers. Welcome to the future of retail, Ask Me Anything. Our first question on this episode comes from Hugh McKee and Hugh asks, what do you see as the implications of AI-based shopping engines that overlay all e-com experiences for example, pricing, rewards, etc. Is there a power shift to these kinds of capabilities versus the retailer? I believe that AI is going to be the most game-changing strategy, not just on the supply chain end for retailers, but most particularly on the consumer end. I believe that each of us is going to subscribe to a service whereby we can create, create an AI in whatever image we want, and they will be our trusted shopping companion. They'll be the ones that we ask, which restaurants should we go to? Which airline should we travel on? Or who should we bank with? And if it sounds far-fetched, just think about the way we have navigated our physical lives. You know, 30 years ago, we depended on maps or instructions from people to find out which way to go. But today, who would dream of getting in the car without using their GPS? So in the same way that we navigate our bodies from point A to point B today by using AI and other technologies, I believe that we're going to use these same technologies to navigate our consumer lives in the future. And that's a really important point for marketers, particularly for brand marketers. Because when you think about it, for centuries, marketing and advertising has relied on our emotions to factor into many of the decisions that we're making. Well, guess what? AI doesn't care about the emotional underpinning of your marketing. All it's looking for are facts. This doesn't mean that it's the end of marketing, it just means that it's the end of bullshit. And that's going to be a huge adjustment for marketers in the future. So our next question comes to us from at Range Development Services. And the question is, how does your advice and recommendations to large national retailers differ from what you would tell a single retail store owner operator? Are all your strategies just as effective? Our advice doesn't change because we don't believe that the future of retail is about how big your budget is or how many technologies you can invest in. We believe that the future of successful retail is about how ingenious can you be in creating moments for consumers that are unforgettable. And that is not a matter of any one technology or any amount of money. It's about your ingenuity, your creativity, but most of all, your courage to actually act on the ideas that you have. And remember, being small sometimes means that you're more agile, you're more nimble, and if anything, perhaps you're even more creative because you have to be. Embrace your smallness. Thanks for watching everybody and keep those questions coming. Hit us up on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter and your question might just appear in the next episode. We'll see you then.